Come with me on a trip down technological memory lane. Well, when I was an undergrad, this is what a calculator looked like. That's a slide rule. Interesting, these days I ask my class, I have a very large class, ask them what this is, I show them, none of them know what a slide rule is. When I first started uh, teaching, we used projectors like this, slide projectors, two of them linked together with what is called a dissolve unit. So we'd create motion on, this, on, on the screen. Boy, that was a big breakthrough back in those days. Then novel calculators appeared, and this is the first one that we had. 1968, we paid $900 for this calculator. $900, it just did the simple functions, add, subtract, multiply, divide. Now you get a better one in the dollar store. Quite remarkable. What is this? It's a pointer. This is what we used to point to the screen when we were showing slides or after we had written on the blackboard. Quite an elaborate contraption. Today, of course, we use a pocket laser that looks like this. And I'm sure you're wondering about this contraption here. We got this in the mid-1980s. Believe it or not, what you're looking at here is the first ever portable computer. Portable, well, yeah, you can carry it. Uh, it's a strain. But you could take it from office to office and uh, it would do basic word processing, calculations, etc. You'd have to use some floppy disks. One had the program, the other one that, that you worked on. So that was back in the uh, 1980s. And obviously we have come a tremendous way since that time. Now, it is really portable, isn't it? We've gone from this to this. And uh, the memory, of course, is not even comparable. I remember when I had my first real portable laptop and I got a hard drive and had 20 megs on it. I thought, gee, you know, how am I ever going to, to uh, fill that? Well, today it's pretty easy to, to fill that. And we have all kinds of things. We have cell phones with which we take pictures instantly. You see it right away. Far better than the old-fashioned Polaroids that we used to have. And of course, what we have here is a computer in your pocket. It does absolutely everything that you'd ever want to do. And in terms of, of memory, well, look what I have here. This is a memory key. Believe it or not, it holds every lecture that I've ever given, and I've given hundreds. My 16 books that I have written are all on here. Basically, everything that I've done since we started uh, way back in the early 1970s, everything is on here. This is my life. What if I lose it? Doesn't matter. It's backed up on numerous places, including in the cloud. So boy, things have really changed. Even when you sit back and have a bit of coffee, well, what do we do? We use these capsules. Mm. Makes very good coffee. Everything is changing, but some things, they just never change.